it hits you right in the heart when you make a difference. Um, it really does. I was just wondering what the toughest thing you've had to deal with in the school is. There's quite a few tough things to deal with in, in a school like this. I had a grade two class once where a mother came raging into the classroom and was threatening to hit me and there was, um, I, I just became very aware of one of the kids in the background shouting, everybody else put your heads down so you don't see what's happening. And I think in that instant, you know, trying to keep this parent away from the kids, you, I just thought, God, what's happened in this kid's life that she knows to tell everybody to look away? It's quite heavy sometimes listening to the stories that um, some of the kids have got to deal with. And they come into class and we expect them to sit up and work and focus and, and do a job. How hard was the decision to help disadvantaged kids instead of work, work at wealthier schools? It was actually really easy for me, Noah. I'd actually set my heart on finishing university and traveling the world and teaching overseas. And I was approached by staff at university who said, hey, we're running this program. Would you be interested in joining it? Um, we're trying to get teachers to go into disadvantaged schools in Australia. And I just had, the thought had never occurred to me, I guess. I thought that was a great idea, so I jumped on board. The kids that come to this school, they're always looking for somebody who genuinely cares about them. I'm in it for the kids, so I don't think I'd survive two minutes if I went to a nice school somewhere in a leafy green suburb. How did you know that you wanted to go to university? Well, I didn't originally. Um, I actually trained to be a nanny for a while in the UK and then travelled the world, nannied in Canada, nannied in Australia. I decided that I just didn't want to do that job for the rest of my life and always in the back of my mind I'd wanted to be a teacher so I thought that it was now or never basically. I had one of those moments so I did. My advice would be that you're not locked in. What you decide to study in year 12 isn't necessarily what you're going to end up doing. I think a little bit of life experience helps along the way. What was the most important thing that you learned at school? Learn from your mistakes and it's okay to make a mistake I think. You know, we all make mistakes constantly. I didn't like making mistakes. I think I got this talk from a teacher that making mistakes was actually how you learn. And I say that on a daily basis to my students now. So as long as you try your best and do your best and work hard, nothing else really matters. How does it make you feel when you make a difference? It hits you right in the heart when you make a difference. Um, it really does. It's hard to explain. Um, Sometimes you're in the middle of teaching and, and you know that um, you've gotten through to a kid or, or you've said something to them that makes them feel special or valued. And, um, you know, you've just got to keep on going. You just give them a little nod, but you know yourself, you've maybe got them there. So, um, yeah, it's very rewarding in that way.